Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding maximum transaction each day and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called transactions with three different columns, transaction ID, day, amount, and these are their data types. Transaction ID is the primary key for this table and each row contains information about one transaction. Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the IDs of the transaction. So basically transaction IDs with the maximum amount on their respective day. If in one day there are multiple such transactions, return all of them. Okay, the order of the results should be sorted by transaction ID in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So basically, uh, this is the input table transactions, different transaction IDs, different dates and times. Again, we know the data type of day column being date and time. So date and time, right? And the amount of the transaction. So we need to return on different day days what was the maximum amount. And if there are there is a tie, then return all those transaction IDs, right? So for example, on 3rd of April 2021, right? So is there any other entry? No. So since only one entry on 3rd of April is 57, so the transaction ID return would be 8. For 28th of April 2021, we have 1 and 2, right? It says days, not date and time, right? So on 20, even though the time is different, but uh, the date is same, right? So 28th of April 2021, we have 21 and 40. Right. So which one is the maximum out of 21 and 40? 40. So in your output, you won't see transaction ID 9. You will see transaction ID 5. Right. So if you see you have 5, but you don't have 9. Right. Similarly, you had 8. And this is this is what we need to do. Right. Just by reading the question up till here, the first thing that we need to do is do some data cleaning. Right. So this day column should be converted from date time format to just having date right uh, so yeah let's go ahead and start building this query so from this table called transactions right what we are doing is return the transaction id as it is because that does not require any data cleaning then we need to convert the format of this so the function that we can use is date format the column which we need to change day and the format right so in single quotes percentage capital y for year dash percentage small m for month dash percentage small d for day and we can alias this as you know whatever column so let's say capital day or uh, does not matter right day and the third column should be amount right so amount and so what will this have basically transaction ID now the day column would be only having the dates not the times and the amount right and then we can you know store this in a common table expression with CT as wrap everything in the parentheses now using this what we need to do is we need to find for each of the days which each of the days what is the maximum amount right again very simple just like the previous video uh, it's like very similar to the previous video uh, so from the city what we need to do is we need to return the like let's return everything and then we are creating a fourth column which will be telling that on a particular day what was the maximum amount right so what we do is since we are writing uh, a window function here so the first thing that we need to do is write over clause then you create partitions right partition by and then you need to partition by what dates right so on different dates what is the maximum value so partition by now we have uh, the name of the column so since we are taking uh, columns from cte right so this common table expression so partition by capital day and then once we have partitions so take the maximum value from the amount column 
right you do this and we can alias it as maximum amount right so what will this have basically it will be having all this so let me if we if i just copy this right copy paste here right let me shift it here so uh, basically the days will be in this format right so uh, whatever 28 remove this remove this and remove this right so day would be capital day and then it have it would be having amount right so basically this is the amount part so this is the amount part and then we can have the fourth column maximum amount right maximum amount and here on 3rd of april 2021 so like how will the partitions be so if i can just you know move this so let me just move this to here right so yeah so this is one partition one day three third of april 2021 28th of april this is second partition third partition right so since there is only one maximum amount is 57 out of this which one is the maximum 40 right so 40 40 and out of this 58 since both have same values so 58 58 and these are the transaction ids and this is what we have and then what we can do is this can be your second common table expression because from this you need to keep certain rows and return the transaction id and order by right so you can write it here as well but it will you know make our code not look very clean so to make it very clean this can be second common table expression so you don't need to write with clause again when you are writing common table just after a second uh, or a, you know previous common table expression just put a comma sign write the name of the common table expression ct2 as and then put the entire thing in parenthesis right so ct2 is this right now from this what we need to do is we need to only return those or basically we need to return the max transaction ids of the maximum amount on a particular day right so basically out of the ct2 if we keep only those rows where the amount is equal to the maximum amount then it will remove all rows such like like this right since and nine is not going to be a part of your output so what you do is from CTE2, what you do, keep only those rows where amount is equal to maximum amount, right? And then return the transactions. Our output should only have transaction ID, right? So return the transaction ID and the final thing that left to do is ordered by transaction id in ascending order so order by transaction id and since by default it is ascending order so you don't need to write asc you can write it does not matter right so let me just remove this or let me you know just copy this or cut this out run this query see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it and this is ex accepted as well right but the question is not over here right so if i go to the description uh let me just you know okay and here in the end it is written could you solve it without using the max function right so here we have used max function right could we do this again very simple we did partition by and then we cal create uh, calculated the maximum of that partition right in the from the amount column so instead of doing that let me just you know paste the thing back here right let me just okay so if we are not if we are not to use the maximum function then what we can do we can 
you know for each of the of these partitions if we again order by amount column in decreasing order right so partition by day order by amount column in decreasing manner so what will happen so for this partition nothing is happened only one row for this 40 is more than 21 right so this row will come below right this row will come below and uh, this will remain same because it is the same thing and then if we take the first value right so first value from the amount column and then it will be you know entered in the maximum amount column so out of this 40 and 21 after doing sorting in a decreasing order 40 right so 40 is here here 58 58 so 58 58 57 57 so understand this column is now being you know formed by using another function that is not a max function so let me again remove this rest anything we need don't need to do because rest everything remains same and that is the you know beauty of using common table expressions had we you know just written sub queries and everything we might have to change certain things i'm not saying you will have to but you might have to here you can you know basically it's simply see when you go step by step your code not only looks clean it is easy to make changes so yeah let me go ahead and run this and see what happens so yeah this is again accepted our output is same as expected output let me again submit and see what happens so yeah this is again you know a success so this is how we do this right so very simple question even though medium difficulty not a very uh, you know difficult question and i think uh, seeing yesterday's video as well as today's video now we are able to you know do this very comfortable because yesterday's video was question which was asked in amazon interview was very very similar to this one right so yeah this is how we do it and again why did we do this uh, part amount is equal to maximum amount to make sure if in one day there are multiple such transactions return all of them right so since we saw that on a particular day on 29th the amount was same you need to return the transaction ids of both and once you have the maximum amount 58 58 and you do only keep those rows where amount is maximum amount so it will keep both the rows and that is why it will return both the transaction ids right so that is why we, that is what the use of this was this entire logic was i hope this video was useful let me know if this video is useful let me know if there is any other solution you can think of uh, or a better efficient way of doing it or your logic seems a better you know match to this uh, let me know i would love to learn and yeah so until then i will see you guys in the next video